during World War II, submarines were primarily armed with torpedoes, and their purpose was to attack other ships, right, to sink your enemy's vessels. Now you have submarines that are carrying a very powerful weapon aimed at strategic land targets. You could hit an enemy on a distant continent, cause massive casualties and massive dislocation to an entire state, not just to one army or one ship or one enemy unit. Missiles really changed the nature of warfare itself. The Regulus became part of the United States' nuclear deterrence policy, a threat devastating enough to keep the Soviets from risking an all-out war. The Regulus missile submarines operated out of Pearl Harbor. Their 70-day patrols were carried out almost entirely underwater and in total secrecy. The Regulus missile submarines were essentially covering really one major target. They operated off the coast of the Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia. This is the far western Pacific. And this was the site of a major Soviet naval base. And this would be, have been a place where the Soviets would have been able to launch attacks across the Pacific. So this was considered a really significant target. And the US Navy ensured that there were always four Regulus missiles available out on patrol to be prepared to attack that target should it become necessary. The patrols took the submarines dangerously close to Soviet shores. Regulus was manually guided, and the submarine needed to stay in radar contact with the missile for the entire duration of its launch. The missile itself had a range of about 500 miles, but the missile's guidance system only had a range of less than half that. So they just needed to stay close enough to their target to be able to launch it and make sure it got all the way there. So even though the range of the missile is about 500 miles, um, the crew of Growler, for instance, was operating usually within 150 miles of the Russian coast and often much, much closer than that. Once in position, the crews waited for a command to launch a missile. They knew it could come at any moment. In October 1962, it nearly did. U.S. spy planes spotted Soviet nuclear missiles being installed in Cuba. From there, they could reach almost the entire United States. President Kennedy ordered a naval blockade of the island and demanded the Soviets remove the missiles or face retaliation. Our resolution will call for the prompt dismantling and withdrawal of all offensive weapons in Cuba. Should these offensive military preparations continue, thus increasing the threat to the hemisphere, further action will be justified. I have directed the armed forces to prepare for any eventualities. In late October 1962, after secret negotiations, the Soviets agreed to remove their missiles from Cuba. The Regulus program ended two years later, replaced with the Polaris ballistic missile, which could be launched from a submerged submarine. Regulus was meant to be a temporary solution, a bit of a stopgap, but it did um, give the Navy this capability it never had before. Regulus was a game changer. Missile-armed combat ships were here to stay.